This year in the Albany City School District, some high school students are using what they're learning in the classroom and applying it to the real world. Caitlin Erla tells us how these students are giving back to their school community. And ones you only do in like the first, third and fifth channels. It's year round growing season at Albany High School. At first glance, this may look like a random shipping container, but it's much more than that. It's actually a freight farm, which is a fully contained hydroponic farm in a shipping container that uses water enriched with minerals and nutrients to grow fruits, vegetables, and plants, and it doesn't require soil. So this setup of a freight farm is one of the ways that we can help to reduce our footprint um, on the environment, reduce waste, reduce you know the impact of fertilizers, and um, also to feed the growing populations. The farm was donated and delivered this year in March. It's currently in between growing cycles, but these are some of the pictures of what the farm looked like in June. The goal is for students to learn and become interested in hydroponics and to provide fresh produce to the school cafeteria. I didn't really even know what like the freight farm was, what like urban agriculture really meant or like how important it was. So I think it's super interesting to get involved. Students in the program are learning the importance of hydroponics, especially because they live in an area that's considered a food desert and in part of the country where you can't grow outside all year long. You're not causing deforestation to like have these plants and then like a mass like land, like occupying a bunch of land just to grow vegetables. You can just have these like in areas where like you normally wouldn't be able to grow these foods. Right. There are many aspects to this program that benefit the students, like preparing them for their future. In college I want to study botany, plant sciences, so I thought that um, by joining this course I would learn more about plants and possibly agricultural sciences. I'm also considering a career in that. These students also feel a sense of pride knowing the work they're doing is helping others. I feel great. It feels nice knowing that like you're helping people um, and that like the work that you're doing is going to like an important cause and you're providing food for people who maybe don't have access. If you're inspired by these students, you can get involved in this type of agriculture on a smaller scale. Do a hydroponic setup with a five gallon bucket and then just cutting holes in the top. Um, doesn't have to be something big and high tech like this. Caitlin Erla, News Channel 13.